Star Radio's On The Money with Darlington Building Society. Darlington Building Society, the heart of the local community. Uh, so today I'm with Janet Walker, who is the Senior Customer Support Lead at Darlington Building Society. Hello there, Janet. Good afternoon. And next to you have uh, Kathleen Mitchell. Kathleen, welcome. Uh, also from the Darlington Building Society and part of the support team. So Janet, Kathleen, we're, we're here today and we're specifically talking uh, about the very complicated documents that one gets on the purchase and indeed redemption um, of residential properties. Do you want to talk us through first off perhaps uh, the documentation that is received and that you obviously get sight of with regards to that purchase in the first place? Yes, of course I will. Most customers believe that we still get a huge packet of old property deeds and um, unfortunately, much to their disappointment, they no longer exist. Since 2003, the land registry have gone through a process of what's called dematerialisation, right. which is a big word for changing paper documents into an electronic record. So property documents that used to consist of a bundle of conveyances, mortgage deeds, transfer documents, now can be as short as two sides of A4 paper. Right. Because the record is kept electronically at the land registry. OK, well, that sounds good news. Good news for storage, good okay. news for security right. for the customer. Because the record of who owns the property, who has a charge on a property, and the description of the property is stored electronically and securely by the land registry. OK. Now, from, from a purchaser's point of view, Janet, how, how sort of involved do the purchasers get in this process? Do they have to fully understand what these documents are? Are they being uh, advised by legal teams? What, what's the story? Their there? solicitor should understand fully everything to do with property documents, whether it's an old set of unregistered documents which would need to be registered at Land Registry or a current set of registered documents. Their solicitor would know the system for Land Registry intimately. OK. Now, I remember when I last purchased my house, I think I got some stuff through electronically, which is what you're, you're obviously mm -hmm. uh, alluding to there. But I, I do remember getting a stack of stuff through that was perhaps a batch high of about this that came through the post. So I assume this is still processed in a manual way as well. The old unregistered documents are slowly disappearing right. because as soon as a property is registered, those unregistered documents are sent to the owner at the time of when the property is registered and they can pass them on to the new owner if they choose to or they can keep them if the property is passed elsewhere. Right. So they are no longer um, relevant as such. They're of historic interest but the electronic record is the key because each property has a unique title number at the land registry. So, so what other documentation do we need to be aware of then with regards to the purchase? You've gone through some of that stuff. Is, is there more? If the customer is buying a property with a mortgage, yeah. they will sign what's called a mortgage deed for their lender. So the lender will have their own type of mortgage deed. It may be as one sheet of paper, it may be several sheets of paper, but that particular mortgage deed, particular to that lender, is registered at the land registry and that is listed listed in the electronic record once it's signed and sent to them by the solicitor. Okay. There's there's a lot of documentation out there, okay? Yes. And, and I say that with a bit of a smile on my face here. Now, I, I assume there's copies of this. I mean, if I was to lose my emails and all these electronic copies, um, is that a problem? No. The land registry have a unique title number for every property. So if you know that unique title number or even just the full property address, you can get a copy of your electronic record. All right. And I assume there's a cost associated. To that, it's though, a so. very minimal cost. The land registry cost currently is approximately £4 per copy of the title information document. Any different documentation that we need to be made aware of with regards to the redemptions? No, on redemption, the charge, if the customer has a, um, a mortgage, the lender at the time will take their charge off the property through the land registry and then the title information document is updated on the electronic record at land registry and they can obtain an updated copy of that right. which will show the uh, property description and their ownership name. Okay. And that the fact that there's no charge left there at all now. Right, OK. Now, we said right at the very beginning, Janet, 
um, that obviously solicitors are going to be uh, very up to speed with all of this sort of thing. I think when we talk about a lot of this documentation, I'm sure that many of our listeners are sat there thinking to themselves, gosh, this all sounds really quite complicated, but, but this is nothing for them to be overly concerned. Nothing to be it? worried about. They can go onto the Land Registry website and they can obtain um, information from there. They have public guides, yep. which uh, are quite user-friendly. And it, it can guide them through obtaining uh, title information, searching land ownership, um, finding out who owns a particular patch of land in their neighbourhood if they wanted to. And um, the government website is quite easy to um, manoeuvre around. Well, listen, thank you very much for all of that. I'm sure you've made it a whole lot simpler for me. Uh, if, of course, you've got any questions on all of this, because it is a complicated area, uh, please, by all means, you can get in touch via our website. On the Money with Darlington Building Society. On Star.